Hey everyone, Dylan from Diamond Spotlight, and today we just got in a 1.05 carat radiant cut lab diamond engagement ring from James Allen. And in today's video, we wanna show you what this ring looks like in real life, do an unboxing video of how it showed up to our door, everything that's included in the box, and talk price and give you guys plenty of video of this ring so you can see it in real life. Now, if you wanna check out this setting or this ring that we're looking at in this video, I will have links down in the video description to James Allen's site to this exact setting. And there's a few settings that look very similar to this one, like the Petite Pave Cathedral, that's not actually this setting. This is the common prong. So I will have a link to it down in the video description if you wanna check out the setting. And then I'll also have a link to James Allen's site and all of their radiant cut diamonds, both lab diamonds and natural diamonds if you wanna check those out and browse through their collection. They have a ton of different diamonds on there in all different price ranges. Now, when this ring arrived to our doorstep, it's in a very incognito box. There's no branding or anything on it that says James Allen. It's just all blank. So you would never know that there's an actual engagement ring inside. And you do have to sign for the package. This is not something they're just gonna leave on your doorstep. Um, and when we pull it out of the box here, you can see there's a nice little protective sleeve over the actual ring box. And you're presented with some really nice packaging with a little embossed James Allen logo there on the top. Very nice presentation. And this is a really good box that you can keep to hold all your documentation and your ring. Now, if we open the lid with the little magnetic door, there is the ring front and center. And as always, we get straight to the point on this channel. So let's go ahead and open up this box and take a quick look at the ring in this indoor LED lighting here on our unboxing table. And you can see that that ring is looking fantastic in the LED lighting. And look at that, that setting, very, very cool. I love this cathedral style setting and we'll get more into that in a minute, but I like how it elevates that center diamond and then you have all those pave diamonds around it. So really good looking setting, but let's go ahead and just set this off to the side just for a second. And we're gonna see what else is in the box. We just have some paperwork here in the bottom in this little drawer. The first thing they do include is a little James Allen cleaning cloth. You can use this to polish your diamond and um, wipe down your ring. You know, chances are if you're putting like lotion on your hands or a hand sanitizer or something like that, sometimes you can get uh, a little bit on your ring. So it's nice to have a cleaning cloth to polish that up and make your diamond look good. Now this here is your receipt. This has all your personal information and how much you paid for your ring. So it's good to keep that. Um, next up, we have our diamond report. Now this is very important. When you purchase a diamond, you should always make sure that you're receiving a diamond report. This is gonna have all the, the grading specifications for the diamond you picked. So when you're browsing for diamonds on James Allen's site, you have access to these grading reports. This will help you choose which diamond you would like to pick in terms of the grading characteristics. And you can see them all listed here. It helps you better understand how how good this diamond is and how it, it was rated against other diamonds. And it has a very strict grading criteria. This will help you shop around. And when you actually purchase your diamond, you're gonna get the official certificate for your diamond because the one you pick on the site is the one you're gonna receive in real life. So very important that when you purchase a diamond, you get that report. It's also like a certificate of authenticity. Um, we have a couple little papers here like quality assurance, little brochure for lab diamonds, and then we have our lifetime warranty here as well. So that's everything inside the box. Let's go ahead and get into the good stuff and take a look at this ring in some outdoor lighting so we can get a better look at it. Now, in terms of price, it's kind of unbelievable what this ring costs. I want you to guess in your head what you think an engagement ring like this would cost. The fact is, is that this ring is actually less than $3,000. I know that's hard to believe, but the setting for this ring, this is the 14K white gold common prong setting is $1,450. And then the diamond that is paired with the setting, that center stone, the radiant diamond, this is a lab created radiant 1.05 carat E in color, SI1 in clarity. That is $1,420 for a total of $2,870. And it is very hard to believe that you can build such a great looking engagement ring for less than $3,000. If this was a natural diamond, this would easily be in that you know five to $8,000 range, uh, depending on which stone that you got. So going with a lab diamond is very cost effective. And if you're on like a set budget, like let's say you have a budget of around $6,000 or $7,000, you can get a much, much larger diamond with a lab diamond than you can with a natural with that same budget. Or if you, let's say you have a particular size in mind, like a 1.5 carat or something like that, you can spend far less money getting a lab diamond versus a natural diamond. 
And oftentimes you can even get a better presentation with the lab diamond because the clarity and the color will be better in the lab diamond because of the manufacturing process rather than a natural. So that's just something to keep in mind. You can get a lot for your money if you go the lab route, but be sure to talk with your significant other and figure out whether they like lab diamonds or natural diamonds, because that's pretty important. Figure out what they like, and if they're open to lab diamonds, I think it's a great way to go and a great way to either save money or to maximize your budget and get the most bang for your buck. So just keep that in mind, but it's really up to the person wearing the ring and what they like. Now, in terms of the setting of this ring, I want to touch on this just for a minute. This is the 14K white gold common prong round shaped diamond engagement ring setting. And like I said, I will have a link to this specific setting down in the video description because there's a couple on their site that look very similar, but they are indeed a little bit different. And I'm gonna be re releasing a video comparing this common prong setting and the petite pave cathedral setting. I have both of those right now, and I'm gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of both of those and showing you the differences. There's only about a $200 difference between each of the settings, but one of them has larger pave diamonds and the other one has smaller pave diamonds. So if this style setting is something you're looking into, I strongly recommend you check out that video and compare these two because they're both great looking settings and I really think it elevates the look of the ring. It's really up to you how much you wanna spend on a setting, but if you do spend in that kind of $1,200 range, you can get some more of these premium settings that really do make the ring look more expensive. And like this cathedral setting here, it brings that center diamond up and it does make it look larger. Another thing that the cathedral setting does is that with that diamond being elevated, it leaves you more room to go ahead and mate up a wedding band. It gives you a little bit more room there. Some of the other settings are a little bit tighter. So when you try to put your wedding band next to it, sometimes they won't fit flush together because there's not enough room there for that band to be pushed all the way against it. So depending if you wanna get the wedding band attached to the engagement ring, that could be something that comes into play later on, but these cathedral style bands do a good job of giving lots of room there. So just something to keep in mind uh, in the future. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have a ton of videos on my channel of James Allen's rings. Um, I do all types of unboxing and comparisons. I have unboxings for all of the diamond cuts now. This is actually the last diamond cut that I haven't had an unboxing for. So with this video being posted, I officially have unboxings for all the different diamond cuts. So be sure to go on my channel if you wanna compare a few different cuts to see what you like. I also have videos on there comparing uh, lab diamonds versus natural diamonds, which is really helpful. And then also showing what you can get for the same budget for like a $7,000 budget with a lab diamond versus a natural diamond. So be sure to check out those videos. If you're shopping around, they could be a good resource to you just to see more rings in person and kind of get an idea of what's out there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, all we ask is smash that like button and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.